Arts in the Yard uh, contacted me and I already had this huge project in my mind. When I heard that, obviously, I, I, was, I thought that that's a perfect opportunity to bring a lot of people together and do a huge uh, project. The workshops uh, started with uh, a presentation, an introduction to Islamic geometric patterns and to geometry uh, in general, where it sort of started and came from. We produced um, a, a sort of a, a workbook where it showed step by step how the, uh, the um, shape, the decagon, uh, is drawn and then how the individual shapes uh, are derived within. Um, I try to get people um, to draw the same same sort of pattern, 600 close to 700 pieces, and because of each individual's different interpretation of, of colour, it just makes it all different, but they all come together and they fit together and they form a tessellation. When I was looking at them, um, they tremendously enjoyed it. And I think um, part of the reason is, obviously a lot of different people were coming together. They were in an environment that was, was free. Um, so they were uh, able to come to that environment and also local. Um, and uh, normally in our day-to-day -day lives, we don't put um, two or three or four hours aside in your home environment to do some art. But because this event, the workshops were specifically um, uh, organized, people were coming and they had that four or five hours where they could totally switch off from their day-to-day -day life and focus on that art. And while they were doing that, they were chatting with each other it provoked a lot of a kind of discussion and um, interacting between, between the, the, the different uh, people from different uh, backgrounds. Workshop, which was a very novel experience for me and I think it's the first time in my life that they held a, a brush and they utilise paint. The best thing about it is seeing the different styles all come together and obviously it's individual to everybody. You meet new people and people with like same interests as you. The workshop was a very unusual one and I thought um, it would be nice to experience that, something which isn't the norm and I think which is a bit of a niche really. It's a, it's a very deep sense of connection. Lots of people from the community uh, that I hadn't met before. It didn't cost a lot. I didn't have to buy materials and go to an art shop or get anything. It was just all there and... I would do it again. It's been a learning experience and, and, and I think that's the important part, whatever you do in life. When I finished it, I, it was quite uh, overwhelming uh, for me to think that it's come to an end and it's all put together and it's, and it's the work of all those people. I think that's the most important part and that those people can see that and think, wow, I contributed to that um, piece of work, which is going to be at the uh, Hopmore Community Centre. Um, that's where its home is. And people can um, can go and um, and look at it whenever they want.